Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a multimedia keyboard using a keypad. One thing that it can be useful for is video editing, for being able to go through the different menus and different shortcuts and stuff, or navigating through menus. And another use for it is pausing, playing music, changing your volume and muting. So for this project, you're going to need a keypad, a sheet of paper, a printer, and a, de and a design that you'll be able to find in a link down below. So to get started, one program that I use for this is paint.net. You can also download it for free on, if you just search up paint.net program. So after you've completed it, or you just download the one from the link down below, you then can go ahead and save it as a .jpg file. You save it with 100% quality. And there you go, now it's saved. So then you go ahead and print that bad boy out. So to be able to use a keyboard as your own separate input, you're going to want to go to the Lua Macros website. You can just simply type in Lua Macros, then go to, you can even go to here if you want, or download it from the GitHub. You go to the GitHub link, and then you go ahead and download. When you have it downloaded, extract it to its own folder on your desktop. Once you do that, Go ahead and open the samples and then open quickstart.lua. You open quickstart.lua and then you, as you can see, you've got basic commands here. So if we click the play icon and press a, just a key on my other keyboard, as you can see now it's its own separate input. And now I can type whatever I want with my main keyboard without it getting intercepted by the windows. That is the basis on how to get it started. And again, if you go ahead and open my Lua script, It's the same thing. You just click the play icon and you should be good to go. You click it and then it says de identify device macros and then you just simply easy. Now one thing that you can do is write your own Lua code as you can see on the screen right now. Or you can just click the link down below to be able to download the one that I've already created as again the one that you're seeing on screen. The only thing is is that you're going to have to change the user from unwanted view to whatever your username on your computer is. 
and then you're going to be able to change the different button you're going to also have to change the different buttons as well i guess another thing that you're going to have to do or you don't have to is change the different what else they do because what's what is assigned on mine might be different for yours uh, so it just depends on what it is that you're going to be doing i'll also provide a link for the different commands that you can also use for the different codes in lua such as the lmc send keys lmc send input or lmc spawn So everything should be working if you press Discord, Discord will pop up. If you press Spotify, Spotify will come up. If you press Steam, Steam will come up. And if you press the Google Chrome button, it will also come up. It's just I have it on the other monitor. Including pausing and playing music. And I click the play. You can see I'm listening to the ACDC. If I click next, I got it. I'm also listening to the ACDC. If I press back, it will play it from the beginning. Press volume up and volume down. It works. If I press mute, it will do that if I launch Discord again. And if I press the mute volume button, you can see my microphone gets muted in Discord. The other buttons that I have, such as record, instant replay, screenshot, locking computer, alt tab, and desktop separately in different input however when i go to provide it the link uh i will i will also provide that as well because i'm still working in, in progress uh, and it should work no problem so as you can see in the lewis script here when i press this button here it shows up as button 96. however when i press the double zero zero it shows up as a double 96 keystroke. So for this to do a single keystroke, now I don't know how this certain keypad is actually programmed, but it what I'm thinking is that it officially presses this twice and this once. What I was having the problem was whenever I would press this, it would show up as a zero and then the L as the Windows key. Um, and it would show up the zero L, that's why it wasn't working. So this is why you need to be careful with um, this. So as of right now, as far as I'm aware, this is like, sure, even when I press it once, it only does one in the Lua code, it, it uh, just purely does, doesn't work. And uh, that's just a flaw with this keypad. It might be better with the higher end keypad or even a keypad like this one, if you were to just get like that, uh, where it's got, everything and it should be good but yeah it's just a little quirk with this one you have a fully functioning macro board well fully functioning <laughs> so if i press alt tab it will switch between blue macros and obs that's just what i have it saved to in the preset here if i press this it'll just go immediately to the desktop and we'll open those back up if i press the steam it opens steam if i press discord should open Discord to press Spotify. Should open Spotify. I press Google Chrome. It'll open Google Chrome just on my other monitor here. I press volume up, volume up. Press volume down, volume down. Press next. It should go next. If I press this, it should go there. If I pause, I pause. Press record. It will record. If I press save instant replay. It will save instant replay, and if I take a screenshot, it will take a screenshot. Oh, I'm muting my microphone. And my alarm's going off for some reason. And everything that I use will be down in the description so that you can download it and modify it however you want. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.